Hi, this is Trishel Canatella from The Challenge, and you're watching The Dominic Natty Show. Who do you think causes the most drama on The Challenge All-Stars this season? Like, who is the most difficult person to deal with? Me. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. A thousand percent me. Like, <laughs> I was really? probably the bougiest bitch there. Like, yeah, like, they were like, oh, Trishel, like, she... I mean, I was out of my element, I would say. I wore a sequin dress in the woods. Like, I didn't know where we were going. I kind of was just like, oh, I, I don't know. I was probably the most difficult. I packed my bags, like, all the time. I was like, I want to go home. I hate it here. I thought the challenge was going to be easy backyard games. And when I saw the first challenge and I was, like, seeing people literally, like, almost drowning. Sorry. Whenever they yeah. were... I saw people like almost drowning i was freaking out i was like oh, this I, I can't do this like it was scary um so i think if i knew going into it what kind of challenge it was going to be like i would would have felt more comfortable but i just started shutting down when i saw how hard it was how many times did you uh threaten to go home and quit the show <laughs> Well, okay, to be fair to myself, I wasn't the only one. A lot of people were like, screw this. But, like, I did that on my real world show, too. Like, they just never showed it. I think all of us had a moment where we were like, I'm going home. They they don't air it because they probably deal with that in every ca cast, you know, like somebody's kind of like that. Um, I don't know. I threatened probably, like, three times a day. <laughs> three times a day that you're yeah. going to quit the show and go home. Look, if I had, like, Netflix and, like, a TV or, you know, now Paramount Plus, I would have been fine. But, like, you don't have a phone. You don't have anything. I got bored so fast. And we didn't even have a pool. I mean, the hot tub wasn't hot. You were known to have a threesome on the real world. Have, have you in your, like, have you, is that true? And have you had a threesome since? Okay, so the threesome on the real world was like a three-way kiss. It wasn't anything else. Bryn had come into their bedroom after, and then she left. So it was really just a three-way hot tub kiss. They totally blew that out of proportion. Um, have I had one since? No, not like a proper one. My husband's pretty laid back and cool. I remember one time I was on a cruise, and it was like this uh, bachelorette cruise. And there was a guy that I had seen that we both watched from The Bachelor on the cruise. And I was like, oh, my God, so-and-so's on this cruise. And uh, my husband's like, no way, that's so cool. And I was like, listen, if he, wants, if he like, wants to make out with me, can I make out with him? And my husband was like, I mean, I would prefer not. But, like, he knows me, so he knew that maybe it, I would probably just, like. But the, the sad part was is that the guy was like in his early 20s and I was 39 and he did not want to make out with me. So joke was on me. <laughs> so did you, did you, you shot your shot? And he, did he turn you down? I mean, I, I did a healthy amount of flirting, but he had no interest. I mean, there were like 19 year old girls on the cruise. So like, there's no way that he would like want to be with someone 20 years older. Um, but anyway, my husband like knows that I'm really funny and I'm a very honest person. So like, I, I just, I shot my shot with my husband, too. I was like, can I do it? And he was like, I wouldn't love it. <laughs> who um, who was the person from The Bachelor? <laughs> uh, it, it was uh, Dean. His name's Dean. He, he's very handsome. And he had, like, zero interest. He was friendly, actually, with us. We were dancing, and we were all hanging out, and he was super fun. But, like, yeah, he did not want to make out with me at all. Like, no interest. Then he made a comment about my age about like uh, just something about my age that wasn't mean. It was just like something that like put me back in my lane. And I was like, oh yeah, like he is like 17 years younger than I am. Yeah, but if you would have made out with Dean, your husband would have been like, well, it's okay. Like he would have been okay with it. He knows that I am like a huge flirt. Um, like yeah. he's bad if like I kiss like my girlfriends or something or you know, my gay friends or anything like that. Like he, he doesn't care, he's just, do you kiss your girlfriends often? I, I've only done it a few times since I've been married, just whenever I'm feeling uh, frisky. So how many guys have you made out with since you got married? Uh, zero. Oh. Oh, wait, no, one. one. Sorry, oh. sorry, one. It's mostly girls, but one guy. <laughs> Are you a big housewife fan? Is that, yeah. Is that what you, yeah. Huge, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who's your least favorite housewife? My least favorite? Oh, God, Bethany. Ugh. 
Really? She's just, she just turns me off like a lot. I don't know. I just don't like the things that she says. She said something nasty about Meghan Markle recently. And I was just like, shut up. Like, I don't know. I just don't really love her. And I think that she does a lot of stuff really just to be shady and undermining. And I think she's a social, wow, I, I guess I really hated her more than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's, let I, it out. Like she stepped on a lot of people to make her brand successful, which I think is great that she has a successful brand, but like she like bashed a lot of her friends and she uh, kind of took advantage of that. Do you, you think that she steps on people to, to elevate herself? Like she, yes. she yeah. Yes. So you were at Henry and Christina's wedding from Married at First Sight. Uh, mm -hmm. Why do you think their marriage ended so quickly? So first off, that was a terrible match. I think that they were matched solely because of drama, because I don't think that anybody in their right mind or anybody who knows Henry, like I've known him for years, would ever put him with Christina. Um, yeah. She just expected so much and just like had unrealistic expectations. Also, like, I don't... Like, it, the, she's just strange. Like, I, I don't know. There's a lot about her. Like, she went on, like, a walk to meet friends, and then she came back three days later. And I remember Henry texted us during it, and he was like, yeah, I'm like, my wife went on a three-day walk. And I'm like, that's not good. She said I'm going for a walk three days later. She returns from her walk? Didn't, didn't bring a change of clothes. Like, he doesn't know where she is. And and also, Henry's not me, like me. I would have been like, where have you been? Like, what? where are you sleeping that you don't bring an extra pair of clothes? How come you couldn't text me? Like, I would have been asking a million questions. He's just right. not like that. He's just kind of like, oh, okay. I mean, ugh. anyway, there's a lot of reasons that that relationship didn't work out. Do you think that Christina cheated on him? Yes. Now, is Henry with anyone new? Do you know? Uh, let's just say he's playing the field. Playing the field. And how did you guys become friends? Well, I said it on the show, but we actually, I want to say that we matched on mm, match.com or Tinder. One of the two. No, actually it was match.com. Match.com. And uh, I had just moved to New Orleans and I was in the market for friends <laughs> because I didn't have any here. And so I was like, you know, maybe <clears throat> I'll like meet some, uh, a guy to go on a date with and if that doesn't work out then we can be friends and I can meet some friends from through that and so we went on a first date and it was just like not going particularly well um I don't know we just didn't have physical chemistry and uh he was nice though and I said hey well if you have any friends to that you want to invite like invite them on our date and so our date turned into like me meeting my current really close girlfriends in New Orleans so said why don't you bring some other girls with you or friends and we'll do like is that rude <laughs> that would hurt yeah what celebrities have reached out and tried to flirt with you um when i was on myspace this is how old i am when i was on myspace we had just watched hostel um my roommate and i and i was just no no was it yeah i think it was hostel or cabin fever one of the two one of the older ones and um I saw who directed and I was like, Eli Roth. And so I looked him up on MySpace and I was like, he's hot. And so I wrote him and I was like, hey, like watching your movie, like loved it, da, da, da. Well, he responds. And then I, he was like, oh, are you in LA? And I was like, yeah. We actually ended up going on a double date to uh, see this movie called Abominable, which is not the new one that came out. It was like this really obscure, like, C horror film, I guess you would say. And the people that were on the double date with us was Quentin Tarantino and some random girl. I don't know who she was, but um, it was pretty interesting. Do you want to have double date with Eli Roth and Quentin Tarantino? I did. For sure. Is this an exclusive? I've never heard the story. Have you ever I, shared this? I've never told this story ever. That's, that's pretty cool. See, I guess now that I think about it, but I never talk about my love for horror films. So I guess you just brought it out of me, Dominic. <laughs> That's what I try to do.